Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain love for beginners. This movie tells the story of the first love of a geek girl with a teenage playboy who coincidentally has the same name, but has very opposite personalities. How is their love journey? Let's find out in Love for Beginners. Love for Beginners tells a story of a girl named Hibino Tsubaki. Hibino is the daughter of a married couple who has a photo studio business. Her family has been in this profession from the first generation until now, so the business has been passed down from generation to generation. Hibino is currently entering high school, while her younger sister, Sakura, is still in middle school. Hibino's and Sakura's dress styles are very different. Hibino dresses in an old-fashioned way with her hair in two braids, while her younger sister is usually fashionable and stylish. Hibino is a very simple type compared to her sister, who always looks modern. That day was Hibino's first day of high school. Hibino, who always dressed neatly, and according to the school's rules, looked surprised at her friend's stylish and free dress styles. As Hibino was about to walk to her class, she accidentally bumped into a male student named Tsubaki Kyoto. As a result, Kyoto's bag fell, and many books spilled out. Hibino immediately apologized and helped Kyoto pick up his books. At the same time, another male student named Nishiki called Kyoto with his first name, Tsubaki. Hibino, who initially thought the student was calling her, answered the call. But it turns out that the student called out to Kyoto. From that meeting, Hibino later knew that her name had the same name as Kyoto. Kyoto is one of the most popular boys in the school. He is a handsome, attractive, and smart student at school. That's why he became popular among the students at his school, especially among the girls. When Kyoto becomes the student representative in the new student welcome ceremony, he gets cheers from the female students who idolize him. Unexpectedly, Kyoto and Hibino were in the same class. Moreover, they sat next to each other. Kyoto, who saw Hibino looking stiff and geeky, tried to annoy Hibino. But Hibino immediately took action. She took the scissors from her bag and warned Kyoto that she would cut his hair if he still bothered her. The other students who idolized Kyoto immediately defended him and cheered Hibino. Because Kyoto didn't want Hibino to be teased by other classmates, he immediately sided with Hibino by saying that Hibino was his girlfriend. Finally, from the moment the other students stopped insulting Hibino. That day, the school held an inter-class competition to give a festival performance. Hibino as class president asked her classmates to pay a fee of 10,000 yen to prepare for the festival. Some of her friends objected to paying dues and were skeptical about joining the competition, and even some of them didn't even want to enter the festival competition at all. Hearing her friends' responses, Hibino became confused and didn't know what to do. Kyoto, who sees Hibino in trouble, intends to help Hibino with the condition that she is willing to date him. At first, Hibino didn't accept the offer, but she finally agreed to Kyoto's request since she had no other choice. After hearing Hibino accept his offer, Kyoto immediately stood up and announced to the class. He said they didn't have to pay dues for the festival, but they could have a festival that actually brought in money. Kyoto gave the idea to use their own resources so they don't have to spend any money. After school, Hibino approached Kyoto to talk about their dating status. Hibino said that Kyoto couldn't unilaterally say that they were dating because dating was intended for two people who liked each other. Hibino considers the relationship between couples is not trivial because a couple is a person we choose to accompany us for the rest of our lives. Kyoto looked a little surprised and amazed by how Hibino defined a relationship. The next day, Kyoto, Hibino, and their classmates began preparing for the school festival. Although Hibino always wears old-fashioned clothes, it turns out that she has a talent for styling hair and styling clothes. When Hibino, Kyoto, and their friends were busy preparing various properties and costumes for the school festival, Sakura came to see Hibino wearing a cute bee cosplay outfit. Seeing Sakura's beauty and cuteness, Nishiki immediately fell in love with her. But Sakura seemed to like Kyoto more, and Hibino realized that. That night after the school festival was over, Hibino and Kyoto seemed to be resting for a while and enjoying the night view on their school balcony. They then cleaned and tidied up all the properties they had used at the previous festival. Hibino felt anxious to cut Kyoto's hair which was getting longer. Although initially, Kyoto refused, he finally allowed Hibino to cut his hair. It turns out that Kyoto's appearance after his hair is cut is indeed cooler and more handsome. 
Hibino even praised Kyoto's good looks while holding his face. Kyoto got carried away and continued to stare at Hibino. He seemed to be getting interested in her. The next day, Kyoto invites Hibino on a date after school. Then Hibino came to Sakura's room to borrow more fashionable clothes, but she didn't do it because she didn't want her sister to know that she was dating Kyoto. Hibino realized that Sakura had always liked Kyoto. Hibino decided to just dress modestly with her hair still in two braids. <laughs> that day, Hibino met with Kyoto in front of the cinema in the city center, but she instead invited him to go to the zoo. Hibino has loved visiting zoos since childhood, and she has really loved polar bears. Hibino said that male polar bears are always looking for female polar bears that they have never met, which is very romantic. After that, Kyoto took Hibino to a mall to buy more stylish clothes and shoes. After shopping, Kyoto invites Hibino to come to his friend's salon, Hananoi. Hananoi immediately dressed Hibino and changed her appearance to be more beautiful and fashionable. Kyoto was surprised and amazed at Hibino's beauty. After that, the two of them came to a place filled with a view of the constellations. Kyoto has been very fond of stars and astrology since he was a child. He always gets a telescope gift for every birthday. After chatting for a while, Kyoto suddenly kissed Hibino and asked her to sleep together. But Hibino refused because she didn't want to have sex before marrying. Hibino immediately burst into tears because she assumed Kyoto was dating her just to ask her to sleep with him and never really liked her. Hibino quickly left the place and went home in tears. The next morning, when Hibino was getting ready for school, she looked at the clothes that Kyoto had bought while thinking about him for a while. After yesterday's incident, Hibino realized that all this time, she had liked Kyoto and hoped that he would love her back. At school, even though Hibino keeps her distance from Kyoto, she secretly watches Kyoto. Hibino feels jealous when she sees Kyoto being seduced by another female student. During lunchtime, Kyoto came to Hibino and explained why he approached her. It turns out that Kyoto and Nishiki have made a bet to win the heart of all the stiffest and most serious girls in the class. Kyoto and Nishiki had made that bet since they were in middle school, and Kyoto always won the bet. But ever since Kyoto met Hibino, he felt that she was a very different girl from other girls. He admitted that he had lost the bet and promised not to tease her again. When Hibino returned home, she found that the clothes Kyoto had given to her had disappeared. She realized that Sakura had taken and put the clothes on. Feeling that Kyoto's gift means a lot to her, Hibino plans to find Sakura and ask her to return the clothes. While looking for Sakura, Hibino accidentally met Kyoto, she tried to avoid him, but Kyoto managed to catch her. Kyoto invited Hibino to study together at his house with Nishiki and Sakura at the meeting. The next day, Hibino, Sakura, and Nishiki arrived at Kyoto's house. Instead of studying together, they planned to go on vacation together during summer vacation. Long story short, when summer vacation arrives, Kyoto, Hibino, Nishiki, and Sakura go on vacation to a beach and stay at a villa together. Even though Sakura is still in middle school, she already knows about intimate relationships and thinks that Kyoto purposely took them on vacation together to do that with her. But it turns out that the one sleeping with Sakura is not Kyoto but Nishiki. Sakura has given up on getting Kyoto and prefers to be with Nishiki. That night, Kyoto invites Hibino to come to a place where they can see the stars through a large telescope. While enjoying the view of the stars, Kyoto and Hibino made a conversation and their relationship grew closer. Kyoto promised Hibino that he would meet her again next year when the Ursid meteor shower occurred. That night, Hibino dared herself to confess her feelings to Kyoto. She finally tells Kyoto that she loves him. But strangely, Kyoto became angry and left her alone. Since the incident that night, Kyoto has been avoiding and getting away from Hibino. Hibino became confused and saddened by Kyoto's attitude. But finally, she got an answer from Nishiki. Nishiki explains that Kyoto had trauma in his childhood because his mother cheated and divorced his father on his eighth birthday. Since the divorce, Kyoto doesn't trust love from anyone anymore. After knowing all that, Hibino intends to help Kyoto heal his past drama. Hibino prepared many things for Kyoto's birthday later. Hibino tries to make Kyoto realize that birthday celebrations aren't always bad and that someone's sincere love for him can heal the wounds in his heart. Hibino said that she would not do the same like his mother and would love Kyoto with all her heart. 
Unexpectedly, Hibino's plan worked, and Kyoto was able to smile again. Sakura and Nishiki are happy to see their relationship getting better again. Since that night, Kyoto and Hibino have been back together and have a couple relationship. Hibino began to change her appearance to be more fashionable and beautiful. One day when Kyoto and Hibino were studying together, a girl named Nana came to meet Kyoto. Nana became Kyoto's close friend in middle school. After seeing Nana's closeness to Kyoto, Hibino became jealous of Nana. In addition, Nishiki said that Nana and Kyoto were rumored to be in a relationship back in middle school. Another day, when Nana accidentally meets Hibino at a bookstore, Nana tells Hibino that she was Kyoto's first love. Hearing that, Hibino became even more sad and afraid of losing Kyoto. The next day, Kyoto's father informed him that Kyoto's mother was sick and was currently being treated at the hospital. Kyoto's father hopes Kyoto will visit his mother because she wants to see Kyoto again. That's why, when Hibino asked Kyoto to hang out after school, Kyoto refused. Whereas Hibino actually wanted to invite Kyoto to come to a place where they could see the Star Festival. After school, Kyoto came to the hospital where his mother was being treated. But before that, he came to see Nana because she wanted to say something to Kyoto. Nana wants to invite Kyoto to enroll at Tadai University together because they had promised to study at the same university back in middle school. At the same time, Hibino accidentally saw Kyoto and Nana walking together, making her feel very disappointed. Hibino thought that Kyoto didn't want to go with her because of Nana. Hibino finally ended her relationship with Kyoto because she was disappointed. She feels very sad and loses her desire to live her day. A few days later, Hibino received an offer from Hananoi to become a model in one of his magazines. Hibino accepted the offer and came to Hananoi's photo shoot. But at that time, Hibino's expression was still very stiff and looked uninspired. Hibino was actually interested in becoming a fashion stylist and hairstylist in the photo shoot. She then offered to be the hairdresser at Hananoi, and she agreed. That day Hibino continued her photo shoot with more enthusiasm, so that the magazine photos turned out to be very beautiful. Hibino's friends were amazed to see her face published in a famous magazine. Hibino now has ambitions to become a professional hairdresser, so he continues to practice diligently to hone her skills. She even decided not to continue her studies in college because she wanted to focus on her training to become a professional hairdresser. While elsewhere, Kyoto is at home with his father. Kyoto's father reveals that he still loves his mother. Hearing this, Kyoto immediately came to the hospital to meet his mother and hugged her. Kyoto realizes that he still loves his mother very much and doesn't want to regret it if he can't see her again one day. Kyoto then contacted Nana to cancel their meeting. Previously, Nana had invited Kyoto to see the stars together on Christmas Eve. Kyoto chose to return to meet Hibino because he still remembered the promise he made with her a year ago. Kyoto rushed to that place to express his feelings for Hibino. Unfortunately, he missed his train that night and had to wait for the next train. On the other hand, Hibino and Hananoi went together by car. As it turned out, Hibino had come to the place that Kyoto had promised. She waited for Kyoto while holding the necklace that Kyoto gave her. After waiting a long time, Hibino decided to go home, thinking that Kyoto would not come. But at the last minute, Kyoto managed to come and immediately approached Hibino. Kyoto then said that he loved her. The two of them immediately kissed and spent time together that night. The moral that can be learned from this movie is that sincere love from others will be able to heal the wounds in one's heart.